Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this is my Easter Day YouTube video, and right now you're just watching us do a little Easter egg hunt. Then go get it. Oh, oh. Show everybody your finger. Oh, you dropped your eggs. Who put this in the thorn? Okay, I did, and your father told me not to, but I'd already dropped it there, so. I'm sorry, let me show your finger. Oh, the thorn bush. All right. Wow. Hey, but, oh, William, here, here you go, William. Your brother that didn't want an egg hunt. Woo, go find him. Hey, there, there's an orange one. Let's see. So now I'm going to show you everything I got for Easter and do a little get ready with me while I get ready to eat lunch and take pictures of my family. So first thing I got for Easter is this really cute swimsuit. Here's the top and here's the bottom. It looks so cute. And next I got this really cute swimsuit. It's pink and tie dye and the bottoms are also pink and tie-dye really cute as well and then i got one more swimsuit that is really cute it has like one shoulder and the bottoms are the same print really cute again next i'm really excited about this i got a google mini nest and yeah i can't wait to set this up i'm super excited about that Next, I got this giant thing of pink peeps. Peeps are my favorite thing on Easter. They're so good. I got this little, well, if you know me, you know my favorite animal is a cow. And I got this little, like, thing to, it's like a cow. It's really cute. I got more Polaroid film for this thing I got for my birthday. Which, instead of, like, having, like, I have a Polaroid camera. But for my birthday, I got... This thing where you can print off pictures from your phone that look like a Polaroid picture and I'm in love with it and I got more film for that. My grandma made me this really cute Easter blanket. It is so cute. I'm so happy with everything I got and yeah. So now let's start to do the get ready with me. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup, probably straighten my hair or something or curl it probably curl it because i'm bored and i don't have anything else to do so let's start with makeup if you guys want to know everything i got for my birthday i could definitely do a video of that if you guys want that just let me know in the comments so first i always start with the laura mercier foundation primer it's the best primer in the world they sent it to me and i've been addicted to it ever since so i just put that on with my hands just kind of on my face everywhere oh and if you want more of like an in-depth how I do my everyday makeup you can definitely go watch that video I'm not gonna do any concealer or anything because I'm not feeling like getting that much makeup on this is what I do whenever I don't feel like wearing concealer or foundation I hate foundation and it works literally the same as a tinted moisturizer oh also there's going to be a room tour coming very soon on my youtube channel so stay tuned for that now it's time for i need to pull my hair back really quick i'm going to do i'm not going to put any bronzer on not feeling it so i'm just going to do a little bit of blush Blush is so cute. I love blush. I'm so pale. I cannot wait for summer and like going to the pool and getting tan because I'm really pale right now. Setting spray. 
make sure all of that lasts throughout the day. Okay. So use this first. It's finished, it's just everyday natural like nothing much. Now it's time for hair. So this is like my natural messy hair. So I think I'm gonna curl it, but not like intense curls, like waviness. But first I need to brush it. So I always use this Rock Your Hair Leave-In Conditioner Weightless Detangler before i brush it because my hair is kind of like wavy and knotty i use a wet brush so i usually just split my hair in half and go to town these like front little pieces out because I think it's so cute when you leave them out at the end and like curl them kind of in the front this is a little bit too much just like little tiny sections usually I like pony them together and I know I'm gonna look crazy but it's worth it in the end just trust me on that one that's good enough Okay, now what I'm going to do is like a little half a puff down and then I'm going to curl it. So I'm just going to get the section that I want on the top ponytail. And then this is something else that I do. It might be kind of weird. I don't really know if anyone else does this. So I just grab this back section, not the section that I'm actually going to ponytail. And I always tie it up first because one of my pet peeves is whenever you're doing half a puff down and the hair from the bottom section gets like caught in the ponytail it's the worst if you know what i'm talking about you know how bad that is and tie it up here's the look now we just have to curl it this is the curling iron i use it's dry bar and it's the best i love it so much my hair is getting super long look like my hair on dance moms was literally this short isn't that crazy and i'm gonna start curling like start by curling the ponytail i just figure that's the easiest way that's what i've always done all right so my hair is finished i absolutely love the way it turned out and now it's time to pick out an outfit. So a white Burberry shirt with this black jean skirt, super cute. And I finished this look off with some bands, plain white bands. So since we couldn't see our family this year, we FaceTimed all of them and we were playing some super fun games. And that's what we're doing in this video. So, my sister and I are dying hard-boiled eggs, and we're going to show you how to do it, and we hope we don't mess up. So, you're going to take Cool Whip or whipped cream or whatever you have, and you're going to spread it on, like, a pan, I guess. This is enough. We have a lot of whipped cream on here. Now, 
you put food coloring in it so we have like the regular colors and then like the pastel or neon colors and i'm gonna use these but you can both use them yes i think we both want to use these ones but i might use the yellow out of there and with the food coloring you just put like little drops wherever you want i'm using pink i want them to be like oh well, that's kind of sounds fine <laughs> Um, I'm going to use blue. I'm going to do like pink, purple, and blue, I think. So now I'm going to put purple. a little bit of pink. Not that much at all. Just for a little extra color. Okay. And after you have all the colors that you want, you're just going to take toothpicks. And here we go. Yep, just kind of mix it around, but don't like mix it all the way. So, we both have our arms mixed, and we're both going to be making four eggs. And so, after you have it mixed, you're just going to find a spot that you like and basically just put the egg in it and then like mix it around so all the sides are covered. I guess you just <laughs> take it out. Oh god. So you take it out and then you wipe it off, I think. Hope it doesn't take it all off. I'm scared. Oh, it actually looks really cool.